Hi everybody. In this video we're going to talk about section 6.5 which is on work and fluid forces. So this section has um, what I would consider physics types, uh, physics type of concepts in it. If you haven't taken physics that's perfectly fine. We're just going to go through a few different things and then um, some examples. So the first thing we're going to talk about is work. So work officially is the force acting on an object and then the object's subsequent displacement. So if you think about work, um, if you have to put in work to move something, like you have to push an object or pick up an object, you're exerting work or you're putting in work. And so how to calculate that number, it's actually um, this equation here, if the constant force is what's being applied to moving the object. And so work, which we use W to represent, equals F times D, where ref, uh, F represents the force exerted onto the object, and then D is the distance that you're moving that object. Okay, So if you're going to push a box two feet, um, that would be two for distance, and then how many pounds or um, force you're using, we'll talk about the units in a second, that, that would represent force. Then the units, like I just mentioned, uh, we're going to have a, two different types depending on which system we're using. So if you're using the international system or SI units, then the units that you have for work is actually called a joule. So one joule is equivalent to one newton times one meter. Okay, and so meter, you, you're probably familiar with that one, that is a unit of length, so that's the distance that your object would move. And then a newton is a unit of force. Okay, And then a newton meter, you can call this a newton meter, is one joule. So that's our SI units for, for work. For our imperial units, we have one foot pound. So foot pound, and what that equals is exactly what it looks like, but I'm just going to switch the order. Uh, one pound of force times one foot of movement for your object. Uh, real quick, the, the variables for joule, it, it's straightforward, it's just J. So J for joule. And then foot pound, we can abbreviate it. Um, I'll put it right here. Foot pound is just foot pound. Okay. FTLB. Okay. And then if you want to convert between the units, you can work individually with converting like newtons to pounds and meters to feet, or if you want the actual conversion from joule to foot pound, I'll give it to you here. And this is just an approximation, but one joule is about 0 0.7376 foot pounds. Okay. So if we wanted to change our units for work, we can use this conversion. We're going to go right into an example of how um, to calculate work and how this is involved. So example one says, a jack that applies a constant vertical force of a thousand pounds is used to jack up the side of a 2,000 pound car 1.25 feet. Like, so the car jack is pushing the, car, the side of the car up 1.25 feet from the ground. How many joules of work is needed to jack up the car? So first we need to find the work in the units we're given. So notice that the question is in asking you about joules, which is SI units, but you're given information in pounds and feet. So we are going to convert from foot pounds to feet, or um, excuse me, to joules. Okay, so let's find the work with the units we are given already. So we know that work is force times distance. So we have our force of a thousand pounds times our distance of 1.25 feet. Now if, if you didn't know the conversion from foot pounds to joules, like I just showed you, um, but you did know the conversion from pounds to newtons or, and feet to meters, you can convert it that way. Um, but we do know the conversion from <coughs> uh, foot pounds to joules, so we'll go like that. Okay, so this ends up being 1,250 foot pounds of work is needed to jack up this car. 
So this would be the answer if it didn't ask for it in joules. So we're just going to convert our answer. <clears throat> so we have 1250 foot pounds. Oops. 1250 foot pounds. We know that every one joule, so one joule, was about 0.7376 foot pounds. Okay. So we'll end up with this conversion, dividing out the units we don't want anymore, and we're left with the units we do want. And let's just use a calculator to get this number. So we have about six, uh, 1,694.69, uh, if I round, joules of work. Okay, So about 1,695, roughly, joules of work needed to uh, jack up this car.